Imagine a world where robots deliver your groceries, clean your house, and even perform surgery with pinpoint accuracy. Sounds like the future, right? Well, the future is already here, and it's all powered by the incredible science of robotics. But here's the twist. Behind every smooth robot move and precise action is a complex system of movement and control that brings these machines to life. Ready to take a peek under the hood and see what makes robots tick? Let's dive into the basics of movement and control in robotics, where gears meet code, and the possibilities are endless. Let's start with the big question, how do robots move? At first glance, it might seem like magic, robots rolling, walking, or even flying through the air with ease. But the truth is, it's all about mechanics and control systems working together in perfect harmony. Whether it's a robotic arm assembling a car or a drone zipping through the sky, every movement is the result of carefully designed systems that translate commands into action. First up, let's talk about actuators, the muscles of a robot. Just like your muscles contract and relax to move your body, actuators do the same for robots. These are the components that convert energy into motion, allowing robots to perform tasks. Actuators come in different flavors, electric motors, hydraulic systems, and pneumatic cylinders, just to name a few. Electric motors are the most common, especially in smaller robots. They're like the all-around MVPs, providing smooth, precise movement with the help of electrical energy. But here's where things get really interesting, degrees of freedom. In robotics, degrees of freedom refer to the number of independent movements a robot can make. Think of it like this, your arm has multiple joints, shoulder, elbow, wrist, each providing a degree of freedom. The more degrees of freedom a robot has, the more complex and flexible its movements can be. A simple robot might have just one or two degrees of freedom, like a robotic gripper that opens and closes. But more advanced robots, like humanoid robots, can have dozens of degrees of freedom, allowing them to mimic the full range of human motion. Now, let's dig into the control systems, the brains behind the ball. Control systems are what tell the actuators what to do and when to do it. They're like the conductor of a robotic orchestra, ensuring that every movement is in sync and on point. There are two main types of control systems in robotics, open loop and closed loop. Open loop control is the simpler of the two. In an open loop system, the robot follows a set of pre-programmed instructions without feedback. It's like setting a toaster to pop up after three minutes, regardless of whether the toast is actually done. Open loop systems are great for straightforward tasks where precision isn't critical, but they fall short when the environment changes or when accuracy is key. That's where closed loop control comes in. Closed loop systems use feedback to adjust their actions in real time. Imagine driving a car, you're constantly adjusting the steering wheel based on what you see and feel. That's closed loop control in action. In robotics, sensors provide the necessary feedback, telling the control system whether the robot's movements are accurate and making adjustments as needed. This feedback loop is essential for tasks that require precision like a robotic arm assembling tiny electronic components or a drone maintaining a stable flight path in windy conditions. Speaking of sensors, let's not forget about these crucial components. Sensors are the robot sensors, allowing it to perceive the world around it. From cameras that enable vision to touch sensors that detect pressure, sensors feed information back to the control system, helping the robot make decisions on the fly. Without sensors, a robot would be like a human without sensors, unable to see, feel, or react to its environment. But what really brings all these elements together is programming. Think of programming as the language that tells the robot how to move and what to do. Whether it's basic movement commands or complex algorithms for navigating a maze, programming is the code that runs the show. In fact, some of the most advanced robots today are equipped with machine learning algorithms that allow them to learn from experience, adapt to new situations, and improve their performance over time. So, why should you care about the basics of movement and control in robotics? Because understanding these fundamentals is the first step to unlocking the potential of robotics in our world. Whether it's designing robots that can explore other planets, assist in surgery, or simply vacuum your living room, the principles of movement and control are at the heart of every robotic innovation. But here's the kicker, this is just the beginning. As technology continues to evolve, 
robots are becoming more capable, more intuitive, and more integrated into our daily lives. By mastering the basics, you're not just learning how robots work, you're gaining the knowledge to shape the future of robotics and explore the endless possibilities that come with it. So, the next time you see a robot in action, whether it's a robot vacuum at home or a high-tech surgical robot, you'll know there's a whole world of movement and control systems working behind the scenes, making it all possible. And now that you've got a glimpse into that world, who knows? You might just be inspired to dive even deeper and see where the future of robotics can take us.